Let's take a photo of uh, from the camera on this device. So we have the camera UI loaded over here, and I can take a photo right now of my iPhone 5. So let me just see how does the photo actually come out. Again, we are right now in a room with some artificial light, so we do not have good amount of light falling on this subject, uh, which we are trying to capture. So let me just take a photo as of now and show you the quality. Again, the camera UI has been enhanced on this device. Again, the kind of interface which we have seen earlier is the same on this one. It does support HDR mode as well. You have tap to focus as well. Uh, you can control the flash, you can go to the video mode. You do have a panorama mode is well supported. And when it comes to the other settings, uh, we can toggle to the front camera and I can show you the view, or view from the front camera. So this is how the front camera will look like. The front camera is very good. And again, it is a two megapixel camera from which you can do a pretty good quality of video chat from the front camera. And I can clearly see myself without any kind of haziness or lag. Let me just show you the view from the rear camera. So this is how the rear camera will look like. And again, the rear camera is pretty good. However, it does take some time to focus. Focus, so make sure you are, the, you are at the right distance from the subject and let me just okay it, it does have auto focus and you also have tap to focus as well so let me just take a photo right now so the moment you tap on the screen it will take the photo and this is how the photo will look like as you can see the photo looks good in terms of the clarity as well as in terms of the color reproduction i would say this is pretty okay and it is almost the natural thing which we can see over there uh, as an original subject which we have so the camera quality is very decent this is something which i really like so the camera has been enhanced and the camera on the new moto g is definitely better it can also record high definition videos and let me just show you the setting for the same so in order to take it to the video mode you just need to tap over here you can record high definition videos at 720p and you can also record slow motion videos at 720p so all these two these two resolutions are going to be supported if you want to change the resolution of the video i think you cannot do that from here but uh, there should be some settings over there we will let you know about that later we will also record a video sample from this device so that you can get an idea about the overall camera clarity you will have on this device so in all i would like to say that this device is a pretty decent device for the price it has a pretty good affordable uh, price tag as well however the affordable definition in india has been changed after the launch of Xiaomi devices so as of now I would say this is a pretty good quality device very good device in terms of the software UI the software is very smooth and much smoother than the Redmi 1s as of now this is something which I can say but when it comes to the specification Redmi 1s actually competes this phone to a very close level Redmi 1s also has some decent specs as well we will compare this phone with Redmi 1s very soon as well so that's all from us thanks for watching this video you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is the new moto g hands-on review for you in case you have any questions you can like this video and you can leave your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you This is Abhishek from Gatsuse.com and today we are recording this video from the rear camera on the new Motorola Moto G. This is the second generation of Moto G which we are using as of now and this is how the clarity of the video you can get from this device. This device also has secondary microphone for noise cancellation so it should be doing some noise cancellation as of now. I'm not sure whether I can take photo while doing the video recording so I can do that which is good and when it comes to the overall clarity you will get from this device this is how it will look like. Uh, again, we are recording this video in the kind of scenario in which we have some low light and some natural light as well coming and we have some people over there which are trying to make some <laughs> movements. So we have Shimon over there. So 
this is how the overall clarity you will get from this device when it comes to the details i can show you this particular subject which is there in the center and again i can take the photos while recording the video which is good this video is getting recorded at 720p resolution and it should be doing good as far as noise is concerned because it has a secondary microphone so it should be doing some noise cancellation while i'm recording this video so do let us know what you think about this device as far as clarity is concerned this is really good in terms of the quality i can see the full screen view on this device while recording this video i hopefully the quality should also be good when we upload this video so that's all from us do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you Shake from GadgetsUse.com and today we are recording this video from the front camera on the new Moto G. This is the second generation of Motorola Moto G which we are using. So just to give you an idea about the overall clarity you will get from the front camera, uh, this is how it will look like when you record a video. This device also has secondary microphone for noise cancellation, so it should be doing that. I am right now in a very noisy environment, so it should be doing some noise cancellation, especially while I am recording this video from the front camera. Whatever the view which I can see from the front camera is very good on the screen. It is a full screen view which I can see and it looks pretty decent. I am not sure whether it is high definition or not, but it is very good in terms of the quality. And this is how the overall clarity will change when you are against the light or if you are in the flow of the light, this is how things will change. And you can do a pretty good quality of video chat from the front camera. So that's all from us. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.